Hey guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you so much for the continuous support, suggestions, and phone calls. Our dairy girls need a mani and petty also. Hoop care for better performance. So today's vlog we look at hoof care management, something important for dairy farmers to improve their productivity and to reduce lameness which impacts their production. But we also want to highlight the hydraulic foot shoot, I think is a very important technology that improves our animal handling. To make sure your cows are walking in a healthy way and that they have healthy feet and legs. If a cow is limping, she's already lost 10% of her milk production. So our goal is to keep our cows' feet healthy so they can produce more milk, they can get pregnant, um, they can eat. And so this is kind of our, our way in which we determine which cows we need to trim. Okay? We have what we call locomotion scoring. It's from a scale from one to five. A one is a really, really healthy cow that's walking with zero problems, okay? And a five is a cow that she won't move unless you push her because she's, she's that hurt on her foot. Anybody here can pick out a five, right? A cow that's limping. That's very easy for us to do, okay? A four is a cow that's limping as well, uh, but she'll still move on her own. You don't have to push her. She's limping, but she'll still walk by herself. Any of us can pick out a four or a five, right? We, we can find, and a one, right? A very healthy cow, right? So the problem that most farms have is they tell their trimmers to go find the fours and the fives and fix them, okay? That's really important, but what's more important is we find the cows before they become fours and fives, and we prevent them from limping, right? Because if we can do that, then you might have to trim a few more cows, but you're not having to spend as much time fixing them, and they're not losing as much milk. So what we're trying to train you guys to do uh, is specifically point out the cows that are starting to get uncomfortable, but aren't limping yet. Yeah, and my the, what my baby? Yes, because that's that we we maintain those cows by trimming them early and making sure that they don't start limping. And so what you're really looking at is the back. Look at the cow's back when she's walking on concrete. Any cow that is standing straight but starts to walk with an arched back, that's a cow that we want to get on this shoe to trim. Because she's walking with an arched back because something's not right with her feet. Maybe her toes are too long. Uh, maybe she had some, some tissue grow in a weird way and so she's off balance, right? That's what we're trying to achieve here. And so we're always looking for animals that are, are not limping, but they're walking with just a little bit of discomfort because their, their back is arched. And the reason they do that is because some of these lesions are starting to develop, okay? This is a poster of some of the most common claw lesions that you're gonna encounter when you get a cow on this table. There's how many on there? One, two, three, four, five, uh, 14. 14. Okay, there's only three that you're primarily going to encounter. And that's a white line lesion, a sole ulcer, and digital dermatitis. So digital dermatitis is an infection of the foot, okay? And that's when we treat with antibiotics. The other two, the white line lesion and the sole ulcer, are not contagious. They're things that happen because the foot got hurt or damaged, okay? So these are the ones that we're trying to fix and prevent when we trim cows. And what I'd like you guys to start doing is as you start to trim cows, please record if it's a white line lesion or a sole ulcer or digital dermatitis. If you can record that for the next month or so and share that information with me, each of these lesions is caused by a very different thing. So if we know which you're struggling with most on this farm, we can make a detailed plan to help you guys overcome. It. The most important the most important thing we do is we one it's important to fix cows, right? Two, 
it's important to pick out these cows that are starting to walk with an arched back. But we recommend that every cow get trimmed twice a year, okay? We wanna see you trim that cow, right, when she's getting dried off, because if she calves in, lame, she's never gonna reach her full lactation potential. And then we like to see you trim cows in mid-lactation as well. After they've gotten through peak milk, uh, we like to look at them again. The goal is that you're seeing cows enough where they're only in this shoot for a few minutes, right? You look at no freshly pregnant cows. Um, but the goal is that you're getting them on the shoot often enough to where every time you trim them, it goes pretty quick. That's why we recommend doing it in mid-lactation and then doing it again uh, at dry off so you avoid a freshly inseminated cow. So at dry off, the cow would already ready to be somewhere seven months. That's yeah. okay? Yep, that's okay. Oh, so it's just the early stages? Early, the early stages. The first like month yeah. of pregnancy. So every, every dry cow needs to pass by here. Yep. Every okay. dry cow, no, when no. she's getting dried off, needs to be looked at. Okay. Look, looked at, but not, not, not necessarily treated. Right? Right. And, and, and then, okay. Yeah. Because it's maintaining. Yeah. And we're going to show you with okay. one of these cows, when you're getting a cow on the shoot, what you're actually looking for. Okay. And, and, and the steps we go through to just see how things are. You'll have to do a little bit to them, but hopefully not much. Good. Yeah. So if we've got ropes, um, and if somebody can bring, we can. This is the foot of a cow, right? <laughs> um, so there's a few things I want to point out before we start um, doing any work on the cow, okay? And so the first thing is we, everything we do when we trim the cow is meant to improve her foot and improve the anatomy, okay? We don't ever do anything just to do it. There always needs to be a reason, okay? And to understand that reason, we need to understand what makes up the foot, okay? And so, we've got, and all of these toes are the exact same, okay? This up here is the toe, okay? Heel, sole, okay? Those are our three parts of the foot, okay? This is the outside wall, okay? And then this in here is called the inner digital space. But for the sake of hoof trimming, what's important is we have a toe, we have a sole, and we have a heel, okay? And there's one other really, really important part of the foot that you have to be aware of, because it is the most important part of the foot. And if we do anything to ruin this part of the foot, this cow will not be on this farm for next year. When, when next time we come to visit, she won't be here. And it's called this line right here. My marker is... It's supposed to be waterproof. You see that line right there? That's called the white line, okay? The white line is where the outside of the foot and the sole connect. Think of it like a zipper, okay? It's what's holding this strong outside wall to the sole to give the animal strength, okay? And so, the white line goes along the outside and slightly on the inside, okay? So think of the white line also like a chair, a three-legged stool, okay? There's a leg right here, there's a leg right here, and there's a leg right here. So if we do anything with our knives when we're trimming, say remove this or remove this, you've essentially kicked out a leg of your stool and you I mean, have you ever tried to sit on a two-legged stool? It's not possible, right? So same with the cow. It's going to significantly impact her ability to stand, and it's going to lead to uh, lesions if, if we start to mess with that, okay? And so each foot then has 
two toes, right? The outside and the inside. On the back legs, the toe that carries the most weight of the cow is the outside. That's where she carries most of her weight. And it's for that reason that most of our issues are on the outside toe. Because this carries more weight, it also tends to be a little bit bigger, okay? Not quite as evident on this cow uh, because she's a little bit smaller of a cow. But because this one carries the most weight, whenever we start to trim, what we do is we start with this middle one, we get it the way we like it, and then we match the outside to it. So does that make sense? So we're only gonna take off about a millimeter of tissue, okay? Not very much, okay? You gotta go where it starts to get hard. So we're gonna come here with our, uh, our uh, tool, and we're just simply gonna come in here. You want this tool to be parallel. Don't do this kind of crazy stuff, right? You want it to be parallel to her shin bone, and you're just gonna remove it. Now, this is not a lot of tissue. A lot of times cows will have longer toes than that, so um, we, uh, we will have to deal with it differently, okay? And then what you do is you match the outside to the inside, right? Now, look out, just in case she kicks, because this will feel weird. Okay? So now we've got her toes even, right? That one might be just a touch shorter, but they're, they're essentially even, okay? So that's the first thing we do, right? Is we get the toes where we want them. So this animal has just now had short toes, okay? The next thing we do with this device is we come in and we look at how balanced the tissue is, right? We want this animal, if you look down the top, right? We want this animal to be walking on level, on a level toe, right? On a level foot. So you can do it there and you can do it there. The first thing we see is that both of these are pretty level within themselves, right? And so the next thing we need to do, and it's sometimes easier if you look down it from the back, is we're looking to see how level it is between the feet, right? So again, you always measure that inside one first, it's level. You measure this one next, it's level. And then you look to see how level they are with each other. They're very level. If it's not level, what do you think? If it's not level, which hopefully we'll find one that's not, so I can show you, always check this one first. Your sole thickness is perfect, okay? Here you have extra, right? Your sole thickness is great, but you're level. So there's no reason, no reason to take anything, okay? So now comes the last step, which we will use the knives for. So and this is probably the most important step, especially for cows that are grazing. It's called modeling. This is called the modeling step, okay? What's the modeling step? The modeling step is designed to relieve pressure from the foot. This is especially important in cows that are grazing and walking on pathways where there's rocks and debris. Because if she were to step on something, this step is what prevents her from becoming lame. So when you do the modeling, what you're doing is you're scooping out tissue in here to create a place for the pressure to go. You're gonna see if there's any ridges that your fingers get caught on, like there's one right here. You wanna remove that ridge because that's where manure and mud can get stuck and that can cause her to get infected. Go, everybody run your hand in there and you feel that right there, right? Who are the ones with? Now, you've got that little ridge right there, right? So you knock that out. Un poquito más hondo ahí. En la pura, en la pura vuelta, ¿eh? 